I'm on my way to dialysis. Some of you may wonder why I have to have dialysis. sleepover and now I'm going to make some French toast because I'm starving. Starving. to have dialysis and as you know I have chronic kidney disease so that means that my kidneys are not working and you have to have dialysis when your kidneys get to 15% or below which is stage 5 end stage 
renal failure is what they call it. Um, and that is unfortunately what I have. My kidneys are working at about four or five percent, and that's both of them. So it's not that I only have one that's not working, but both of mine are not working. The doctors do not know why I have all of a sudden developed this disease. Uh, they did a biopsy of my kidney when I was in the hospital and it basically came back um, inconclusive, I guess. They're just chalking it up to the fact that maybe I got some sort of virus that attacked my kidneys and here I am. I don't know, it's really frustrating because I wish that I had exact answers because kidney disease does not run in my family and typically this is something that is hereditary. Here I am going to dialysis and I have treatment three days a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and I have it for about four hours every time I go. So it's basically consumes a good chunk of my life. Do I like going to dialysis? Heck no. I wouldn't choose this for anybody, but I am thankful that this is something I am able to do because otherwise I would feel awful all the time. Um, I felt like absolute crap all the time before I started dialysis. The doctor wanted to wait as long as possible but I just was not feeling good. I was starting to have really bad cramps. I was starting to get um, restless leg and it was just, it, it was becoming unbearable. So he put me on dialysis and about a week or two after I started my treatments, I started to feel way better. I started to be able to function like a normal person and for that, I'm thankful. I'm thankful that dialysis is something that that I can do. Um, I know not everybody reacts the same way. I know some people don't feel well on dialysis, but I can honestly say that I feel amazing. There are some bad days. I mean, I guess that's to be expected. And I just need to stay positive and I do as much as I can on the days that I feel great, which are normally the days that I don't have dialysis. And then Tuesdays are typically my worst day when I have dialysis, but I mean, one really bad day a week is not, is not bad at all. Sitting here at dialysis, gonna be Quiet, and I can't really film anything here. Just chilling out. So those are the two needles they put in my arm every time I come here. The blood goes out one and in the other. And this nice little thing here is to keep my arm warm. So I just got done with dialysis and it is freezing. I'm in my car and I am letting it warm up a little bit before I start driving. Um, I got to see my doctor today, my nephrologist. He came, he's the sweetest man. I really just like him. He genuinely cares about his patients and I just really, I'm thankful for him as well. Um, so my blood pressure has been a little bit high this past week. So he's changing my medication a little bit. So I was taking two medications in the morning, one of them in the afternoon and at night, but now I'm gonna take three different medications in the morning, nothing in the afternoon, and then just one at night. So hopefully that will help bring my blood pressure down a little bit. Probably why I've been having um, a little bit of headaches in the morning again and I haven't had that in a while since I've been on this medication so um, we're gonna try that out and see hopefully that works and then I'll be all better with the needles that go in my arm every time 
when they take them out, you have to hold them and put, you know, quite a bit of pressure on them so that it stops the bleeding because the needles are going into a fistula, which is constantly pumping blood. And if you don't put pressure, there's going to be blood all over the place. Um, well, unfortunately, I wasn't really paying attention and I was talking to somebody and I felt something warm on my arm and I looked down and there was blood everywhere and it was really gross. Um, so they had to, you know, get that to stop and then I had to stay a little bit longer. So unfortunately, I was there for a little bit longer than I normally am, but now Thankfully, I'm better and I am on my way home and I'm going to go have some coffee and dinner with my husband. So I will see you guys when I'm done. We're at KFC and I'm freezing. I'm starving. <laughs> KFC for dinner, then we went to the Cedarburg Roastery to have some coffee, and now we're home. So tomorrow we're going to go to the mall, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Mwah. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you guys. Have a good night.